Welcome to this video manual on Windows Server and Network Administration, created for the NEUS TMGT community under the course ITSA 01, Introduction to System Administration. In this video, we'll guide you through the fundamental concepts and practical skills needed to manage both Windows Server environments and essential network components. You'll learn how to install and configure Windows Server, manage user accounts and permissions, set up group policies, and configure shared resources. We'll also cover key network administration topics such as IP addressing, Cisco devices configuration, wireless P2P antenna setup, and troubleshooting common connectivity issues. This manual is designed to support your hands-on learning and provide clear step-by-step -step instructions aligned with real-world IT practices. Let's get started and build your confidence as a future system and network administrator. Basic PC Troubleshooting and Network Setup Basic Troubleshooting Guide specifically for Microsoft Windows 11 How to view the specifications of a PC Right-click this PC on the Windows desktop Click Properties This screen displays the PC's device and Windows specifications Exploring Task Manager. Right-click Taskbar, then choose Task Manager. Click Performance. This will display the performance of each PC component. CPU, Memory, Disk, Network, Display. PC Network Troubleshooting. Step-by-step -step guide to set a static IP address. Open Network and Sharing Center. Click Search button. Type Control Panel and click. Choose Network and Sharing Center. In the Network and Sharing Center, click on Change Adapter Settings on the left side. Right-click on the network adapter you want to set a static IP for, either Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and select Properties. In the Properties window, select Internet Protocol version 4, TCP, IPv4, and click Properties. Select the option Use the following IP address. Enter Static IP Address Details. Enter the static IP address you want to assign, example 192.168.1.10. Type 255.255.255.0 for the subnet mask. In the gateway, type 192.168.1.1. Enter the IP address of your preferred DNS server, example 8.8.8.8 for Google DNS. Click OK to close the IPv4 properties window. Click OK again to close the network adapter properties window. Close the network and sharing center. Verify configuration. Open command prompt by typing CMD in the search bar and pressing enter. Type ipconfig slash all and press enter. Verify that the static IP address, subnet mask, default gateway and DNS servers are correctly set. Step-by-step -step guide to perform a ping test. In Windows 11, you may easily verify if your computer is connected to another device on the network, such a printer, website or other computer, by running a ping test. This is how you do it. Press the Windows key on your keyboard or click on the Start menu button. In the search box, type CMD and press Enter. In the Command Prompt window, type the ping command followed by the IP address or the domain name of the device or server you want to test. For example, to ping Google's public DNS server, type 
ping 8.8.8.8. Press enter. Or, to ping a website like Google, type ping www.google.com. Press enter. The results will be displayed in the command prompt window. If you see replies with a round trip time, your computer is successfully communicating with the target device or server. Or if you see a request timed out, this means the target destination is not responding to the ping request. It could be down, experiencing network issues, or configured to ignore ping requests. Additional information. The ping command transmits four packets by default. The minus N option allows you to increase this. Ping minus N10. www.google.com, for instance, will transmit 10 packets. For continuous ping, press Ctrl C to manually halt the ping until it stops using the minus T option. Take ping minus T www.google.com, for instance. Step by step guide to perform a trace route. In the command prompt window, type the tracert command followed by the IP address or the domain name of the device or server you want to trace. For example, to trace the route to Google's public DNS server, type tracert 8.8.8.8. Press Enter. How to analyze the trace route results. The tracert command will display the route taken by packets to reach the destination. The output will show a list of all the intermediate routers or hops between your computer and the destination. Each line in the output represents a hop. The details for each hop will include the hop number, the round trip time measured in milliseconds for each of the three probes sent to the hop, the IP address or host name of the hop, Thank you for watching this video manual on basic PC troubleshooting and network setup presented under the ITSAO1 course here at NEUST MGT. We hope this guide has helped you understand the foundational steps in diagnosing common PC issues and setting up a reliable network environment. Remember, effective troubleshooting requires both technical know-how and a systematic approach skills that you will continue to build throughout your IT journey. Keep practicing the procedures, explore different scenarios, and don't be afraid to dig deeper into system tools and network configurations. Stay curious, stay hands-on, and continue learning. See you in the next module.